Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am here with new topic of developmental biology which is regeneration of salamander limbs and type of regeneration. So let's start. First is regeneration. So what happened in regeneration is the regrowth of a damaged or missing part from the remaining tissue, right? Regeneration means regrowth, right? Uh, anything which regrowth after the damage or after uh, it goes missing. So the regrowth of damaged or missing organ part from the remaining tissue is known as regeneration. So in humans, uh, it occurs in liver, right? So if we lost a part of liver, it regrow, but it regrow only if it has some of tissue uh, of that organ, right? So as adult humans can regenerate some organs such as liver. If the part of liver is lost by diseases or injury, the liver can grow back to its original size, but not its original shape, right? So there is there are three major ways through which regeneration occur. First is epimorphosis, morpholexis, and compensatory regeneration. So we we talk about it one by one. So so the first type of regeneration is epimorphosis. So de-differentiation of adult structure to form an undifferentiated mass of cell that then become re-specified. So in this case, firstly, we have to know that what is de-differentiation. So uh, when any cell or mass of cell lose their specialization, right, is specialized form which it form, uh, right, uh, lost its um, specialization form and become an unspecialized cell or undifferentiated mass of cell right this is known as de-differentiation so in case of epimorphosis de-differentiation of adult structure to form an undifferentiated mass of cell that then become re-specified right so in case of regeneration only missing part can regenerate and if and this part only regenerate if it has missing or missing tissues present at that place uh, where the organ is lost otherwise there is no generation regeneration takes place right so next is the formation of apical ectodermal cap and regeneration blastema regenerating blastema right so whenever amputation is made a blastema is formed right uh, it is a form over the ampute uh, amputation site where amputation is made right so blastema is a kind of undifferentiated cell right so whenever the amputation uh, limb amputation form a plasma cloth form over here and after the 6 to 12 hour uh, when the epidermis move over the dermis uh, wound epidermal epidermis form so wound epidermis further leads to the proliferation and apical ectodermal cap is formed. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, what is the need of apical ectodermal cap, right? So it secrete factors, right? Uh, it secrete various factors uh, which further leads to the development of structure uh, which is lost, right? So in case of salamander, no scars are formed. Uh, as in case of humans, scars are formed. Dermis does not move with epidermis to cover the site of amputation, right? So only uh, epidermis is uh, move, right? Uh, as it cover the wound uh, surface and form the wound epidermis, right? So after the four days of apical ectodermal cap formation, cell beneath the developing cap undergo dramatic differentiation which leads to formation of further of further various structures such as bone cells cartilaginous cells fibroblast myocytes neural cells and they separated and detached from one another right so next is regenerating blastema de-differentiated cell mass is known as regenerating blastema de-differentiation mean it lost uh, it lost its uh, specialized form and become unspecialized means it become undifferentiated right they continue to proliferate and will redifferentiate to form new structure of limb right so during its proliferation thrombin is released 
thrombin helps in regeneration when amputation is made and when serum exposed to thrombin its factor its former factors capable of inducing cultural cultured new myocyte to enter cell cycle right next is proliferation of blastema right proliferation mean multiplication right so proliferation of blastema depend on presence of nerves it require minimum number of nerve uh, nerve fibers right so its neuron releases mitosis stimulating factors that increase proliferation of blastema cell right so in this uh, uh, factor which is glial growth factor is mitotic derived fa factors present in blastema and it's it's uh, lost upon denervation right which leads to division of cell which are mitotically arrested right next is uh, transferrin uh, it is the neural agent necessary for cell cycling and iron uh, transport protein that is necessary for mitosis in and dividing cells right next is pattern formation in regenerating blastema so firstly we uh, we should know uh, that how a limb uh, how a limb know uh, which uh, which part in any humans or in any organism uh, they need to grow right so hox gene uh, is the gene which is responsible for that right hox gene help to uh, define where is limb needs to grow in salamander it is very important in defining the limb position right hox gene important in defining the limb position another um, another thing which is retinoic acid is also plays an important role in de differentiation of cells right to form the regeneration blastema and in respecification process as the cell re differentiate if this if the dose of retinoic acid higher than normal it leads to inhibition of that structure right it, it leads to the inhibition of regeneration so here is the diagram which shows a uh, donor animal uh, donor animal treated with retinoic acid and in this side donor animal uh, treated with control solution right so in this case uh, the donor uh, limb which is treated with uh, retinoic acid form uh, leads to the formation of complete uh, structure right it leads to the formation of proximalization of blastema phase in this case in control uh, control solution it only form a specific organ right as it form only a wrist and digits right next is compensatory regeneration in mammalian liver this type of regeneration occur in the mammalian liver uh, as we know that in this case uh, a liver whenever liver is lost it form a complete structure uh, to regenerate its uh, complete structure right the type of regenerating growth that can take place in a number of human organs after the organ are damaged removed or ceased to function along with the kidney compensatory growth has also been characterized in number of other tissues and organs such as adren adrenal gland the heart muscles liver lungs and pancreas right so a large number of growth factors and hormones are included liver can regenerate from existing tissue right if there is no existing tissue here uh, no regeneration take place so uh, the for the regeneration existing tissue is required right so uh, this type of compensatory means it can compensate uh, the part which lost which is lost uh, during any damaged or any kind of diseases right and the last one is morphologic regeneration in hydras right so uh, first of all what is morphologic right regeneration occur through repatterning of existing tissues it means whenever a complete limb it has a complete uh, organism this type of um, morphologies occur only in hydra right so whenever a part of it is lost so uh, when it regenerate it form a pattern as it as it is uh, formed in earlier right 
so first is fresh water uh, it is a fresh water uh, cnidarian it is diploblastic means it has two germ layers ectoderm and endoderm and it reproduces sexually in adverse condition right so for example uh, in severe crowding right uh, it uh, reproduces sexually in this there are three types of gradient in hydras right first is head activator gradient right this is head activator gradient second is head inhibitor gradient and third is vessel uh, disc activator and inhibitor gradient so in head activator gradient what happen here whenever uh, as we know that this is apical disc and this is basal disc and hypostome is present uh al along with apical disc so whenever we place the hypostome in the middle of the hydra right so it leads to the formation of uh, another hydra in the middle another structure in the middle right so what it can say is uh, it form only it form head on the uh, outside here and the apical apical disc in the inner region right so it form head region here right so and uh, in next uh, the head inhibitor gradient what happen here the when the vessel disc is placed in the middle of the hydra it induced to form it induced to form a basal disc in the middle and there is no formation of apical disc here right so in the third type basal disc activator and inhibitor gradient so in this case three cases occur right so whenever we place both head activator and uh, inhibitor in middle of the hydra so three uh, three three condition occur here right first is weak apical uh, induction occur here right so here uh, here uh, apical form but uh, it it is not show it not sh uh, shows as uh, it is apical right so it is weak apical induction second is no induction nothing is form and third is weak basal induction right so there is three condition occur in this case so this is all about the regeneration uh, in salamander limb and the types of regeneration occur in various organism right i hope you like the video and you understand it it if you like the video please do subscribe share and like thank you